Everyone loves a post-try celebration. It boosts team chemistry and player morale amongst the playing group and gets huge reactions from the fans and it's a good moment to just sit back and watch with a smile on your face. So, this is Greatest Game of All and this is our ranking of the 10 best post-try celebrations of all time. Number 9, Michael Ennis takes a selfie. In this round 16 clash in 2016 between the Sharks and the Warriors, the Sharks were trailing by 10 points approaching half time. In his final season of NRL, Michael Lennis filled the Warriors middle defence and strolled over for an easy try and celebrated with a few selfies to add to his camera roll. Michael Lennis with the Kodak moment. 360! Oh, Michael Lennis! NRL 360, there it is! <laughs> Take your happy snap, put it in your album, and remember that one! Number 8, Greg Inglis becomes the Goanna. In 2014, Greg Inglis was the Goanna, creating his own post-try celebration and performing it after almost every try he scored around that time. He would have the spotlight shone on him again in the 2014 Grand Final, with the Rabbitohs all but certainly going to take home the trophy with a 20-point lead in the final minute, G.I. broke away to conclude the Grand Final in style. One of the greats of the game. 7. Nathan Blacklock and Blake Ferguson get tricky. Performing the same incredible celebration in two different eras, Nathan Blacklock and Blake Ferguson always succeeded in getting the crowd excited and their coaches praying that they don't get injured whilst performing their trademark backflip. Blacklock's was in 2001 against the Tigers to win the game and Ferguson's was against the Dragons in 2019. To win the game for the Dragons and book himself a New South Wales Blues origin. Go over to score. They're all Blackers and he's done a black one. Number six, Henry Farfili chops open a coconut and has a drink. Round 13, 2002 saw the Warriors take on the Cowboys in Auckland. Warriors winger Henry Farfili scored a great try in the corner and had the sudden craving for some coconut water. And chopping up a coconut, here we go. Number 5, Wendell Saylor plays the didgeridoo. The first ever try in the first ever Rugby League All-Stars game. Playing his final game of his decorated Rugby League career, Wendell Saylor scored in the corner and celebrated by using the corner post as a didgeridoo and playing it with his Indigenous All-Stars teammates dancing along. It's a kick and Saylor will score! Wendell Saylor scores! Now he's got the didgeridoo going! Teammates? Number 4, Mark Riddell joins the crowd. Mark Piggy Riddell is certainly one of the best entertainers in NRL history, thanks to his trademark pre-kick ritual and his post-try celebrations, putting on some dance moves in a round 23 clash in 2005. Steps out of the tackle of Young and Parramatta. We thought we'd seen the last point in this game down the other end. Wasn't the case. Now let's have a look. He goes left, he goes right. right. No, I've got no idea. Absolutely no idea and easily his best in a round 16 clash in 2002 against the Cowboys where he applauded his own try in the crowd. Meters out from the line, Riddell from Acne Half, yawning yet again, he doesn't need support, he's got himself a double in the space of two minutes. What about the gap, he's run out of the ground. He's standing in front of his club of himself. <laughs> well, I tell you what, that is the one of the funniest things I've seen. Number 3, Brian Fletcher closes the Origin Series with a bang. With New South Wales looking to get a 3-0 clean sweep series win over the Maroons in Game 3 of 2000, they certainly got it, as Brian Fletcher celebrated in style after scoring his first and only try in Origin, concluding the series with a bang. <laughs> Number 2, the Tigers take a team photo. The final round of the 2002 season saw the minor premiers New Zealand Warriors take on the 13th place West Tigers in a fairly one-sided game with the Warriors coming out winners 
The Tigers would bow out of the competition with their hair combed and smiles on their faces and pose for a team photo taken by their trainer in a feel-good moment for rugby league fans. And number one, the Raiders go 10-pin bowling. Want to know how to incorporate two sports into one? Ask the 2000 Canberra Raiders team as they took on the Knights in this Round 19 clash, hoping to secure their spot in the finals. After a brilliant runaway try, Mark McGlinden set up his teammates as bowling pins, lined up his shot, and sent the Canberra Raiders fans home happy with a massive strike. So, what did you think of our list? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, chug us a like on Facebook and this video, follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our channel for more Rugby League Countdowns.